I'm Dr. Sasha O'Day, the Medical Director for North Texas Plastic Surgery, and I'd like to take a minute to visit with you about the prevention of breast implant capsular contracture. In our previous videos, we've discussed what I believe capsular contracture is. Capsular contracture is an abnormal scarring response by the body that causes a breast implant to become firm, painful, and the breast implant to be moved to an abnormal or different looking location. In other videos, we've also discussed what I believe are the causes of breast implant capsular contracture. Specifically, we believe that breast implant capsular contracture is caused by an interaction or abnormal scarring response by the body in response to the implant, implant rupture, infection, or blood around the implant. Before we perform a breast augmentation, we take very specific and careful measures to prevent any of these factors from arising to ensure that we can have a breast augmentation that is free of capsular contracture. At your consultation, we're going to discuss the implant that we're going to select for you. For our silicone implant patients, we now use textured silicone implants. The implants that we have selected have been shown in objective nationwide studies to have the lowest incidence of capsular contracture. And I believe that preventing capsular contracture starts with selecting the right implant. Beyond that, we're going to start the prevention of capsular contracture even before your surgery. As we mentioned, one of the factors causing capsular contracture is low-grade infection. To prevent you from developing one of these low-grade infections, we're actually going to have you start by washing the night before the surgery with a prescription strength surgical soap to try to minimize the bacteria that you're naturally carrying on your skin. When you come to see us on the day of surgery, we're actually going to give you another antibiotic in your veins to prevent any bacteria that's circulating in your blood from being attracted to the breast implant. During the surgery itself, we're going to cover your nipples with a small dressing that is occlusive because we have found in plastic surgery studies that there's a small amount of bacteria that actually lives within the nipple. Furthermore, after we create the pocket that we're going to put the breast implant in, we are going to wash it with three separate antibiotics that are separate and distinct from the antibacterial soap that we're having you use, that are separate from the antibacterial soap we're going to wash your skin with on the day of surgery, and that are separate from the antibiotics we're going to give you in your veins prior to the surgery. In addition, we use what we call a no-touch technique for the breast implant placement. I believe this is critical. There is no, even gloved hands, that are going to touch your breast implant. We actually introduce the breast implant into the body using a device called a Keller funnel. This funnel allows us to pass the implant in without any instance of the implant even grazing against the skin. This decreases the amount of bacteria that back the implant is exposed to and decreases the risk for capsular contracture. Following up on that theme of preventing infection, we're also going to put you on antibiotics for five days after the surgery specifically designed to target the bacteria that we know are attracted to the breast implant and like to cause capsular contraction. Furthermore, intraoperatively, we are going to perform a bloodless surgery. Any blood that we see or that is created during the procedure, we are going to take extreme measures to wash out and remove so that the breast implant does not have any hint of blood around it. 
Finally, in the post-operative period, we're going to have close follow-up visits. If we see that you are someone that has that tendency by the body to create inflammation and to create scarring, we're going to actually start you on specific anti-inflammatories like Accolade um, that are designed to target your immune system and tell it to calm down, to try to prevent any abnormal inflammation or scarring around the breast implant. By selecting the implant that we know has been shown in large nationwide studies to have the lowest incidence of capsular contracture, following up that with an extreme amount of care to prevent infection through preoperative surgical washing, intraoperative surgical washing, post-operative antibiotics, no-touch techniques, the use of a Keller funnel, the use of nipple shields, and the performance of a bloodless surgery, complemented by close post-operative follow-up with the possible use of anti-inflammatories as necessary, we are confident that we can create the lowest chance of capsular contracture around the breast implants in our patients.